we have been sent here to put an end to Wong's plot. So far, we have failed. This mad Manchurian must be found, and the coins of Confucius restored to Kilet. In the hands of Wong, they mean its destruction. Every time it sounds, Wong gives some dreadful orders. And terrible things begin to happen. Did the ancient and honorable name of Wong fall from the lips of his gracious and loyal niece? The doors must have keyholes. There will always be those to listen at them. It would be unfortunate to have to shut so beautiful a personage in the dungeon of the faithless. You wouldn't dare. Wong has dared many things. He will continue to dare. And one day, when he's acclaimed by all Kilat. You are wrong. You were never intended by fate to rule Kilat. Time will teach you to guard in different speech. frightens me. This madness of his is driving all reason from his mind. seem that your little affairs of the dawn have interested this Mr. Jason H. Barton. No, he cannot be dealt with as one of our own race. This Mr. Jason H. Barton. I trust for his own good that his interests will not bring him too close to the House of War. Barton! Come on, cut out the plane, will you? Come here, I want to talk to you. What is it now, Chief? Why don't you fall off that uh, Chinatown stuff you started just? Ah, oh, nix on that now, Chief. I ran out of gas and slipped on a little banana oil. There's nothing in it? You guessed it, Chief. Yes, and I've outguessed you too, Barton. There's another killing in Chinatown. A laundryman on Huron Street. Ah, what do I care about another laundryman? The world is full of them. Besides, I send my stuff out to a steam laundry anyway. Did you ever run into a Chinaman by the name of Wong? Have I ever run into one that ain't named Wong? Oh, now, never mind that stuff. Park yourself down in Chinatown and remember the name. Wong. Fu Wong. Okay, Chief. Fu Wong it is, but I could have done a swell story on the evil... Oh, never mind. Get out of here. Oh, you lost your dog. Oh, just a moment, madam. I'll connect you with the car spot advertising. What does she want us to do? Get out an extra? Oh, well. Hey, park that thing, will you? I read your story this morning. Did you? Did you get a kick out of it? They've been kicking all day. Oh, chalk that one up for you. <laughs> I didn't ask for that, I begged for it. Oh, um, I got some bad news for you. I can't take you out to lunch today. <laughs> that isn't bad news. Robert of the Gazette has been trying to get me all morning to take me to lunch at the Biltmore. Oh, is that so? Well, you listen to me. Well, you're not going out with any Gazette lug anywhere. 
Says you with a tone of finality. Says I with a ton of finality. Hello? Oh, yes, Chief. Yes, he's here now. All right, I'll tell him. The Chief says to remind you that the Chinaman's name is Wong. <laughs> Let me out. Hello, attendant. You come and get him now. He's right. <laughs> All right, what is it you want? I was sent over from the globe to do this murder. You're too late. It's already been done. Huh. I'll buy that one. Crack from the cop is worth two from the club. Where's the body? Must have been writing something. Yeah. But we couldn't find nothing the poor devil had been writing at the time. Me and one of the dicks found him just like that. You're the first one of the reporters and likely the last. The newspapers don't care nothing about these Tom killings. So you think it's a Tom killing, do you? What else could it be? Even the dick could see it wasn't old age. Yeah, you're right. Tom wars are old stuff. But I'll tip you off to one thing. This is no Tom job. Ever hear of a Chinaman named Wong? They all sound alike to me. And this Chinaman ain't much for talking. Except all I see. The old dealer down the street. He knows everybody and he's a regular old gossip. Well, I see, huh? I'll look him up after I take a peek around a bit. Sam Toy, no half coin. What is this you have come to fling in my face? With only one coin to be found, and calmly you report failure. No, me not steal. Why, it's deny what the eyes express so plainly. No, no, no. no. House with the rats. We'll make him speak the truth. Oh, he's mad, I tell you. <laughs> them Chinamen is jabbering like monkeys. I've had to clear them away every ten minutes. On your way, on your way. This club makes about 20 knots an hour, and I'm getting up steam. There's nothing noisier than a Chinaman when you want quiet, or quieter when you want information. You know, Confucius said practically the same thing. Has he been in here too? Not today. And it's all right, then. Nobody unofficial must view the body. Do you believe in hunches? The Milgillicuddy was raised on them. Then believe in the one I've got, Mac. It's hotter than the first of August. Smart, you are.
ไปดิฟันเหรอละเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ What was that? The end of the first round, and who won? No, no story. No play hunting. Uh, shut up, shut up now. Some other time talk. Maybe, maybe next day, sometime. Maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe not. No, no story. No play h u n t game. Maybe read sometime. Uh, maybe. I'll uh, keep this until you decide to be a little chummy and sociable. <laughs> maybe t h i c a tell about long time ago poetry. Maybe. Yeah, plenty. Maybe. I'll take this to c h a n Fu at the university, and if it's poetry, I'll autograph it to you. But I'll see you again sometime. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe next day. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, so long. <laughs> Buy a newspaper that will have it. He takes it to Chan Fu at the university. You will see that the ticket does not arrive at Chan Fu. Hmm. Well, ain't that something, m a y b e It should not be difficult to make it appear an accident. And you have no idea who telephoned you? His voice was unknown to me. And the young man desired you to make a translation of the ticket. And you had been warned, precisely. But unfortunately, a portion of the ticket was missing. He promised to bring it another time. To know the full message of the ticket would be of great value. Bring this information to me, and the province which he left will not disregard the favor. So you don't know nothing about it, eh? Well, well, well. I suppose you were all out of town when this happened. Oh, m a t e What another one? Seems like they just can't keep from killing each other off. Say, this is getting monotonous. I'm supposed to bring in real live news, and the best I can do is run down dead Chinamen. That or dead ones than live ones, if you care what's happening to you. Especially where killing's a pastime.
I can't hear myself think. Well, if this is poor old Goggles. Oh, you know him, eh? Yeah, he's a professor of languages. Well, they sure speak in a dead language now. How many does that make? Five or six? I don't know. I've lost count. If they get to you next, why don't you go on home? I'm getting more reasons every minute for staying. Now go on, man, your way. We'll take care of this. Well, a joyful little place this is, isn't it? Would you mind telling me what your interest is here? Oh, no, you tell me about you. Sam Toy was a connection of mine. I get it. And somebody cut off the connection. It might be called that. Well, uh, if Sam Toy was a relative, this might mean something to you. Are you aware of what is written here? Sorry, not a Chinaman's chance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you mean that? Ah, uh, you're wasting your time. You're looking for a coin, someone beat you to it. You and another Chinese gentleman wearing a dragon ring seem to have the same idea about that coin. Only he works faster. A dragon ring? Sure, one of those long-tailed animals with You a... are sure about this ring? You bet I am, but the gentleman that's wearing the ring packs a mean wallet. A goodly thing to know. Thank you. Hey! Listen, pal, what's this all about? It would give me great pleasure to enlighten you, but there are reasons why it is impossible. However, you may have done my country a great service. I'll trade the medals for a little lowdown. Say about who killed Sam Poi, what relation he is of yours, some information about a Chinaman named Wong. You don't happen to be Mr. Wong, do you? To think I am Wong would be a grave mistake. I'm beginning to suspect I've made a couple of them already. I, too, would like to know something of this man, Wong. Well, listen, pal, what do you say you and me get together? Sir, uh, I didn't quite get the name. I can't. He let China. Jason H. Bartlett, Mo San Jose. Goodbye, Mr. Jason H. Bartlett, Mo San Jose. The newspaper lads move right in, don't you? Who's your buddy? Says his name is High Strung or something. 
There's another one on me. Yeah, there are all new ones on me. What I can't understand is why a nice, home-loving boy like you likes to play around with cutthroats and murderers. The same to you, Mr. McGillicuddy, and many others. You like the nice antique candy? <laughs> Tastes like Mortimer's glove. <laughs> How about a uh, nice nest of earth? If you're in the market. <laughs> yes, we've been here for 50 years. <laughs> so the herb. <laughs> uh, perhaps you'd like a filigree herring. Absolutely a herring to end all herring. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Tuts. Where did you come from? Oh, I see. Very old man. To make little noise. Meet the sails of resistance. Merci, my bon Oh, that's what you wanted. Why didn't you say so before, little girl? You didn't give me an opportunity. <laughs> maybe you bring ticket, maybe? I did not. Maybe big university man tell you what it say, maybe? They're getting hot. Play another hunch game, maybe? You've got the idea, old timer. My hunch is if anyone knows what's going on around here, you do. Hunch game no good. Lie, hear nothing, see nothing. Lie, speak nothing. Never mind the monkey business. You go now. Come back tomorrow, maybe. Maybe ticket bring you luck, maybe. Sorry, I'm sticking around for a while. Maybe you buy some herb, maybe. Tomorrow buy herb, maybe. Today, maybe you talk, maybe. Well, I see no talk. Too much talk, too much trouble. The Sam Toy Laundry ticket. How come you got such a boot out of that? Well, I see no get boot. Well, I see got slipper. Hurdle it. Why were you hot putting it out of the laundry a few minutes ago? There's no hot feet. Listen, my paper wants to load down on this damn toy killing, and I've got a hunch you've got it. Hey, Lion. Have you got any more of those Chinese gumdrops? Oh, so here you are. This loafing's got me down. There ain't but a murder around here in 30 minutes. Your son. Uh oh, so you caught up with this one again. Is this another one of your connections? No. Connection? Maybe long time ago, friend. Maybe, I don't know. I guess so. Man sometimes enters his neighbor's door as friendly time as enemy. Well, I see his door very friendly. Were you ever in Kilat? Kilat. Long far away, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I guess so. And I see one time we call us Angeles and Bo. What can you tell us of your departed neighbor, Sam Toy? Uh, no, no, Sam Toy. He's in washing man. I see so. Do you know anything about a man named Wong? Hey, hey, if you're going to throw them away, I know a fellow that can use some of them. Uh... Wong, uh, uh, no come shot. Well, I see very old man. No go out. No Wong. Maybe don't drink Chinatown. Maybe you want. Ah, uh, uh, maybe so. I don't know. I give up. Me. Lysi. The herb dealer. Everybody know old Lysi. Okay, I was just kidding. <laughs> If it's true that no news is good news, that guy can make an editor awfully happy. Well, we'll run down that guy Wong yet. As they say in your country, I'm fine. Okay, boys. You'll have to get along without me now for a little while because I have a heavy date with a hungry female. And as they also say in my country, up K in the up J and he's in the egg bay. Strange idioms. These American tags. 
Very friendly to all, I see. The Secret Service of Kilat has grown negligent that it allows so illustrious a member to fall into the hands of one so humble as old Lysee the herb dealer. Uh, the mysterious Mr. Wong is like tea, a traitor. Mushrooms, I should order chop suey. Well, it is steak and mushrooms, dear, tossed around a little bit. Well, if you don't mind, I'd like to do my own tossing around. Oh, it's just like a woman always squawking. Now you're beeping about the food. This costs a pretty penny. Well, don't you think I'm due for a beef or two? You know, this isn't a Biltmore. You get everything here you can get at the Biltmore. Lights, food, music, atmosphere, indigestion. Yeah, but I got you and not Chuck Roberts. Oh, yeah, you got Chuck Roberts right in there. Everything's in there. Now that I've finished my dinner, would you mind telling me why we're down here in Chinatown? Right now, I'm looking for this fellow Wong. So, would you mind putting these things down and eating your knife and let's get out of here? Oh, uh, lay off, will you? Who's Wong? Yeah, he's no pushover. He's a slick lug. And he works with a knife and he's never out of work. I mixed up in it somewhere. I uh, 12 coins of Confucius. Oh, a money argument, huh? He's been holding his following for a couple of centuries. Oh, Wong? No, Confucius. Hey, how old is this guy? Mmm, a couple of thousand years. He ought to call in an undertaker. Hey, listen, you're not kidding me, sister. This thing is serious. Shortly experience a great danger. Something tells me I'm not going to be very happy here. <gasps> What's the matter? Is the chop suey getting you down already? Come on, drink your tea. It'll get cold. Let's get out of here. I thought I'd see one of those gold coin babies that close. What do you think of it? Oh, take it back where you got it. Let's get out of here. Oh, don't get nervous about a little killing after you've been around a while. Want me to think to you? Oh, no. Something tells me old Lysine maybe knows plenty about that gold coin game. Maybe. Oh, yeah, but let's get out of here. Where are we going? I don't like the looks of this tree. This is Lover's Lane. We're on the way to Lysee. How do you spell it? Hey, who was that meant for? I don't know, but I've got a hunch we ought to keep walking. Walking? What do you mean? Let's run. What's the matter with you? You don't want people to think we're scared, do you? Of course, I don't mind if we walk a little faster. Hey, man! Well, what the... Why don't you two kids go home? You better run down to the Chinese restaurant and just knife another Chinaman. What? Come on, you. You're going home. You're not kidding, but I'm not going to walk. Call me a taxi. In the middle of the ocean, you ask for a taxi. All right. Let's not go that way, though. It's too dark. All right. Pick your... <laughs> Jane, now this ceases to be a joke. You're telling me what a dent that would have made in some Chinaman's head. Well, Cast iron? Oh, don't be afraid. 
Well, I guess this is just as good a time as any. Hey! Hey, you have? Gee, honey, I hate to go without seeing Lysy. It's a new angle I got in this story. All right, you write it, and I'll read it at home in the morning. Oh, well, there's nothing to be afraid of now. C come on, be a good sport, will you? Do you call a cab, or do I call Chuck Roberts? Taxi cab! That's Boxhead Bonus Antlaw Street. Where? America! Thank goodness we're out of that mess. What are you squawking about? You didn't get hurt, did you? No, it's not your fault. I can always replace the hat, you know, but this is the only head I got. Oh, and what a head. What are you thinking about? Chuck Roberts. Why don't you? What? Chuck Roberts. You can go now. Oh, all right. That's the way you feel about it. I'm going back to see old Lysy. I'm going to ask him a few questions. How can you talk if your throat's cut? There you go. Oh, driver, I like that. Will you do it again? Hey, what was that? Chloroform. Hey, Don. Hey, pull over there, will you, driver? You all right, Darla? Hey, I didn't know that fellow was on a running board. Here, yeah, take this and keep the chain. Take your little wagon, we'll walk. Come on, snap out of it, darling. I want to go home. Come on, I'm going to take you home right now, darling. Thanks for the buggy ride. Holding point and men call Wong. You find him at old Lysi shop. See what he said, Peg? I've got to go to Lysi. You've got to go home alone. I should say not. I can't take you home now. This thing is red hot. Who said I wanted to go home? I'm going to stay with you. I got a couple of things to tell that Chinaman myself. That a girl. Gosh, it's dark in there. Maybe we ought to... Don't maybe me. We can come back tomorrow. I thought you had something really important to tell this guy. I'll phone him. Well, oh, forget it. This is big. Hey, we'll probably be written up ourselves on this story. Yeah, but in what column? Ah, uh, don't be silly. Nobody home. I guess I'll have to give it up as a bad job. Old I see probably going to bed. You get me all the way down here, and then you're going to walk out on me. I never walked out in a day of my life. That's something. Now will you go home? Look. Come on, let's go. Now, oh no, bring the totem pole. Give me that. Oh. What's that? It sounded 
God, it's exactly 1041 Eastern Standard Sitting Time. Now, little children, you prepared to hear the story about the little bunny. Oh, don't stuff. be funny. Maybe that's a tong gong. A what? A tong gong. Are you talking Chinese, too? Oh, come on. This is no place to part. So long, Toots. Seen anything yet? We're going places. Oh. Hey, we've been here before. We have not. We have too. Oh, you're crazy. I'll bet you. Come on, come on let's go. Trying to do, get romantic in a joint like this? Hello, here we are back again. Hi, you old timer. I see you picked yourself up the wife. <laughs> that isn't the same one. Sure it is. I'll throw it. Don't touch it. That's funny. <laughs> Don't go in there. Why not? Try and keep me out. Pardon me, I uh, hope we're not intruding, but uh, would you mind telling me how we got here? Where are we? You are in the house. Hey, don't talk to white devil. Hey, do you hear what she called us? Ah, uh, what's the difference as long as we get the story we're after? You are in the house of Wong. What did I tell you, the house of Wong? Wong, great man. Someday, Wong, great emperor. Ah, did I have a hunch or did I have a hunch? Hey, we better call the police. And get those poor policemen in trouble. You would like to see Wong? Don't would. tell secret. I will. Then he kills you. He tortures. Don't go. Don't go. I'm not afraid. We're heading for trouble. Heading for it. We're in it. You ought to go upstairs and stay with that servant woman. And have you tell me I can't take it? Don't be silly. Never again. Take her to Sam. I will attend to her later. She was right. You are a devil. Sometimes politeness is a virtue. Again. It is but a better part of judgment. You're a fine one to talk about politeness. Oh, so they got you too, huh? Oh, you will forgive my lack of courtesy. Allow me, 
Mr. Newspaper Man. May I present the great Hai Tsung, head of the secret service of Kila. Hey, where have I seen you before? <laughs> Hear nothing, see nothing. Uh, I get you now. Hiya, Tots. Smart young man. You wanted a story for your paper, and now you have it. But I cannot promise that you will ever print it. I would not seclude you from so honorable an ally. You will remember that he too desires to discover one. Well, we caught up with him, didn't we? <laughs> Your success may turn to bitterness. And you may wish you had not meddled with the affairs of Wong. Jay, why don't you do something? Yeah. Yes, perhaps, uh, you have a hunch? Well, uh, there's things I can think of that I'd like to do. And perhaps you are of the opinion that you alone are gifted with ideas? Hey, listen. Would you mind telling me what kind of a show is this you're putting on? You Americans are always in such a hurry. Time came before man. There's plenty of it. Do not hurry. Haste is such a futile gesture. Little man, what now? I've got a hunch. I think we're in a tight spot. Clever people, these reporters. Ow, what are you doing? Huh? I think it's at the end of that court. I'm going to do plenty in the next few minutes. What court? Ow! It's a phone. Hello. Hello. Brandon, send the editor to the globe. Hurry, please. White man who got coin. How are you, honey? Oh, all right. Hello? Hello, Chief. This is Barton. Hey, I'm somewhere back of old Lighty's herb shop. There's a secret panel in back of the counter. It's a matter of life or death. Say, Chief, you better come well and heal. These babies don't play with marbles. Give me that number back, quick. I was cut off. You're still connected. Brings joy to witness my return. Delighted. Come in and cut yourself a piece of throat. Where have you hidden the sacred coin of Confucius? Try and find out. You're such a smart guy. Uh-oh, what's that? Take it easy now. Hey, what are you doing? Ow! That's a 
that bloody thing. Confucius will let him fall into the hands of Wong. Wong has gone to join his ancestors. I knew I'd get this thing straightened out. Donald, I got a hunch. What? Scratch my back, will you? Oh. Oh. Say, listen. Call you by my last name? I'll have to think it over. Well. <laughs> 